Few people in Hollywood have debuted at such a young age, given us incredible performances, and continually reinvented themselves. Indeed, I'm talking about Jenna Ortega. An American actress is well known for her roles in well-liked TV shows, including Jane the Virgin and Stuck in the Middle. At six, she began her career as a child artist. She later transitioned to several big-budget cinema pictures and some juggernaut streaming ventures, showcasing her range as an actress. She went from being a Disney star to playing the impending part of Wednesday Addams in Tim Burton's new series, but it does not imply that her road was simple. That is what we will be discussing today, the life and career of Jenna Ortega, right here. Hey guys! Welcome once again. In this video you'll get to know everything about Jenna Ortega. Keep supporting us by liking and sharing our videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay on top of the latest news in the celebrity world. American actress Jenna Ortega is renowned for her astounding talent, adaptability, and engaging performances. Jenna was born on September 27, 2002, in Coachella Valley, California, and has always been passionate about performing. She is of Mexican and Puerto Rican origin. She is the family's fourth child. She grew up in a Californian desert valley with two sisters and two brothers. She chose something she excels at. Jenna began her acting career as a child, and after a few minor roles in 2013, she made her big screen debut in Iron Man 3 with a small role as the vice president's daughter. Shortly after this, she began playing Annie in the second installment of the Insidious Horror franchise, and both of these minor roles ended up being massive hits. Janie, the Virgin Ortega, got the lead role of a younger Jane, who also happened to be the main character, one year after she began acting in one of the shows up for Best Television Series. Despite her youth, it was evident from the impressive performance that she possesses unadulterated potential. She saw the fruits of her labor relatively early in her career because, at the age of 13, she was recognized as a Disney star. When Jenna provided the voice of Princess Isabel in the first-ever Disney program about a Latina Princess Elena of Avalor, she made her mark on the company's installations. At the age of nine, Jenna signed with an agent and started going to auditions for commercials and bit parts in television series. Jenna participated in neighborhood theater productions and talent shows as she grew up. Her major break came when she was cast as young Jane in the critically acclaimed television series, Jane the Virgin, in 2014. This young emerging star has a wide range of skills. She dabbles in singing, dancing, and acting in both TV and movies. This young actress has great potential. Jenna demonstrated her acting talents and gave young Jane depth and emotion. She was nominated for a Young Artist Award for her work on the show, and she soon won over the audience. Although Jenna was planned only to appear once, she became such a popular character that the show's creators decided to bring her back for a second season. Jenna went on to star in several other television shows after her breakthrough on Jane the Virgin, including Richie Rich, Stuck in the Middle, and Elena of Avalor. She also appeared in the movies The Babysitter, Killer Queen, and Insidious, Chapter 2. The Disney series Stuck in the Middle, in which Jenna plays Harley Diaz, is another of her successful appearances. Out of seven children, she had to portray the middle child, which is an intriguing coincidence. In the grand scheme of things, being the middle child in a family of six children, she may have significantly benefited from this role. Perhaps more intriguing is something she said while filming Caught in the Middle. This is what happens when there are seven kids, and you are stuck in the midst, she said clearly in a clip that film editor John Negroni released. I'd be Wednesday. She had no idea that she would become Wednesday in the future. This time, Jenna Ortega admitted to being one of the odd kids and mentioned that she had also been compared to Wednesday in real life. She mentioned, People often tell me that I reminded them of Wednesday because I tend to be quite dry and monotone. The hobbies she enjoyed as a child, in addition, are very Wednesday-like. She described herself as a very odd child who enjoyed performing autopsies on lizards and other small animals that she used to find in her backyard during an interview. 
Her penchant for the macabre slightly impacted her career because she may have grown up terrified of horror movies to the point where she spent the entire night awake after seeing a scene from one. She began to like them quite a bit. Jenna has repeatedly stated that she also takes pleasure in filming spooky scenes. Now that Jenna is six years old, she has started to take an interest in acting immediately. She had great resolve. When she was six, she wanted to start performing, but her mother forbade her. I begged her for a while, and to stop talking, she bought me the monologue book she purchased at Barnes & Noble. Many people at the time would have had the same attitude as Jenna's mother, believing it to be a fad for children and that gifting her a book of monologues may end it. But this wasn't just a passing phase where she decided she wanted to be an actor. When her parents realized how serious she was about it, they called a few agents, which allowed her to go on some crucial auditions. She stated, I performed a monologue for her about my mother dying of cancer, and she took it and posted it as a joke on her Facebook. I suppose she titled it something similar, Oh, my little drama queen. Jenna's portrayal as Ellie Alves in the popular Netflix series, You, has been one of her most recognized roles. In the drama, Jenna plays a teen drawn into the scary world of the charming but dangerous serial killer Joe Goldberg. Both critics and viewers complimented Jenna's performance in the program, with many applauding her capacity to give the role depth and nuance. Jenna played the lead role in the 2022 remake of the well-known horror series, Scream. Jenna portrays Tara Carpenter in the movie A High School Student Who is the Victim of an Unidentified Killer. Critics once more applauded Jenna's acting in the film for giving the role a sense of sensitivity and depth. Jenna is well known for her activism, advocacy activities, and exceptional acting abilities. She has utilized her platform to speak out about problems such as gun violence, immigration, and the Black Lives Matter movement. She received the Upstander Award from the Human Rights Campaign in 2020 to recognize her efforts for the LGBTQ community. Jenna has kept her romantic relationships relatively private regarding her personal life. She has, however, been candid about her battles with anxiety and despair and has stressed the value of raising people's understanding of mental health issues. She has also utilized her position to call for more diversity and representation in the entertainment industry while speaking out about her experiences as a young woman of color in Hollywood. Jenna Ortega is a gifted and motivational actor who established herself in business early. She will continue influencing the film and television industries for years, thanks to her remarkable acting abilities, advocacy efforts, and dedication to social justice. For the time being, our video has come to an end. Kindly share your thoughts in the comments box below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more like this. We'll see you in the next video, bye for now.